this is Kamori, and in today's episode of Cosplay and Social Media, we're going to be reviewing the Cosplay Amino app. Now, I am personally using it on the Kindle, but it is available on multiple mobile platforms such as your cell phone. Now, at least for the Kindle, the Cosplay Amino app itself is not available. You have to download the general Amino app and then specifically search for the cosplay community to join. From there you go on to make your profile. Like most social media sites, you start by choosing a name. I'm using Komori no Hime because I use that for everything. And then you choose a icon picture and then a background picture. And then underneath there are these three numbers which are pretty standard. It has the number of people that follow you, the number of people that you follow, and then it has a reputation gauge, which I think is very interesting. So if I just click on it, it says what it does. And the number goes up based on the number of times that you comment on other people's stuff, reply to other people's questions, and upload content of your own which I think is a very interesting concept, especially for such a social community like cosplay. Underneath your profile picture, it has a little bio so you can insert whatever you want. I just put links to my other social media sites because I wasn't entirely sure what to put on there. And then they have a wall where other people can write on your page. And when I first started joining, the uh, some of the other members came and just said, hi, welcome to the community, which was pretty sweet. The last section is your posts. So you can link to YouTube videos, you can post pictures of your costume, and then since it is a blog, you can do a write-up about the costume before your pictures, or you can post work in progress, whatever you want to post, really. To make a new blog post, you just click on the little section that says Write New Blog. And then you can add a title, you can just add a little bit of write-up, you can add YouTube videos, pictures, whatever you want. The one thing that I really don't like about this platform is that it has this little icon right here. And unless you turn it off, it will add a geographical location to your post, which I find very disconcerting. I personally don't want my latitude and longitude coordinates broadcasted all over the internet, and especially since I know there are people who are under the age of 18 involved in the cosplay community, I don't think it's really safe to have that on there, because they might not know about how to turn it off or the... I just don't think it's a good idea. So that's actually my number one issue with the blog post is the fact that that is on there. It automatically posts to your blog unless you manually turn it off. I wasn't able to find anywhere in the settings where you can turn it off automatically. Um, so if someone else knows how to do that, let me know in the comments below, but that is actually my biggest issue with this format. Next, over here, you can add categories to your blog post for whatever you think it fits for, and then once you're done, you just click the little check mark in the corner to publish your blog. From here, you can go ahead and then swipe over to see all of the categories. Now, anything that was tagged in the category will then show up underneath it. Let's see, uh, let's go with television and film. So then anything that anyone tagged in that category will then show up here. One of my biggest issues with this site is that it seems like there's really no moderation. And by moderation, I mean that there are no people acting as mods to make sure that things are uploaded correctly. I get the impression that a lot of people just upload blog posts and then pick every single category. So it's pretty common to see things that aren't really relevant to the topic showing up in that category. Also in this sidebar are little buttons for any chats you're involved with, a notification button for if anything, if anyone comments or likes on any of your blog posts, compose so you can add to the blog post, leaders, members, bookmarks, and then up here they have more buttons for newsfeed, so, and 
it goes with the people that you are following, the front page, public chats, and then latest. So that's just anything that's been uploaded in the order it's been uploaded in. And we'll go next to the public chats. Now for the public chats, it's pretty much any cosplay topic really, though they tend to be focused more on people from a specific area or a specific convention. And anyone can start a chat and anyone can join a chat and add their two cents to it. And then there is a section called catalog. And honestly, I don't really know why this is here. Because this is like, oh, people's favorite things. But it's a handful of tutorials, some reviews on stuff, a section of cosplay celebrities. And it's not even like people who got cosplay celebrity status. It's like other people made posts about people they think are celebrities. I don't know. It just seems a little bit weird in my personal opinion. I don't really know why this section is here. But anyways, going back. In the corner of the cosplay portfolios, there are these three little white dots. And if it is a cosplayer that you follow, you have the option of clicking on those and then using that to initiate a chat with that person. Now, that chatting with cosplayers is enough of a topic that I could make a video on its own about that. So we'll just leave it to that, that that is an option in this site. That's about it in terms of the walkthrough of this app. As for the review of it as a social media platform, I think it's interesting. I downloaded it just to kind of see what it was all about. I do plan on keeping up with it and using it. In comparison to Facebook, it definitely has a wider reach because you don't have to worry about dealing with the Facebook algorithm that's trying to get everyone to give them money. As for the people using it, I did notice that when I, whenever anyone follows me, I look at their page and a lot of the people that were following me are people who aren't posting things themselves, either that or they just made an account. So it does seem like there are a lot of people lurking on the site that haven't actually posted any material. As for the people using it, I definitely get the impression that this is primarily used by a lot of the younger cosplay crowd and those who are just getting into cosplay as opposed to those who've been cosplaying for a while. Now there are some very experienced, very talented cosplayers on Cosplay Amino. However, it does seem like, at least from the impression that I got just from the couple weeks I've been using it, is that a lot of the people who are active, especially on the forums, are those who are just getting into the hobby. So those are my impressions on Cosplay Amiibo. If you use this app and have your own opinions about it, please let me know in the comments below. And thank you very much for watching. Bye.